everyone it's Cindy welcome back to Studio Lou I am here with Tuesday 10 and it's a miracle that I'm actually filming that but I will get into <laughs> this story a little bit later I'll show you what the 10 things are um, for those of you who are not familiar Tuesday 10 is where I just kind of take 10 random things from my stash of papers on the back of my desk from things that I've saved and we make ephemera until I have used it all up so I have a piece of a book page um, with some little fairies here and um, some cute animals this is a leftover piece of scrapbook paper with feathers this is um, some illustration of embroidery from um, a doll clothing book this is from a children's book it's just a nice picture of flowers um, this is from sort of a book that was really humorous about like kind of aristocrats and I just love the illustrations in this book. I, I forget what it was called but it, it's a great book. And this is kind of a old art book page. This is a digital of some old seed packets. Another one of those little book pages with these same little fairies on it. So I'll probably make like a little set of two things with that. This is a leftover, like an envelope from something. I just want to make it usable in a journal. This is a book cover from a Japanese children's sort of, well, I don't know if it's a children's book, but it's kind of one. It's just a book of like illustrations about places and things. And then we have this um, bag that my friend saved for me that has like mandalas all over it. So let's get started. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, it's kind of a slight miracle that I'm here because it has been so much of a week. I've just been like so busy over the weekend. We, um, well, I guess beginning about last Wednesday or so, unfortunately, um, a norovirus just completely came right through our house. Um, it hit me first, um, and well, it hit my son a little bit first actually, but really, really minor, but then it hit me the hardest. And so, um, I was definitely out of commission. <laughs> I, um, was extremely sick for two and a half, three days and, um, was not, was not good. Um, I definitely was PCR tested for COVID because I was very paranoid because I know that, um, I'm hearing a lot about these days the symptoms are a little different with these new variants and I was so worried about that but I am negative I have been tested a couple of times with like um, not the rapid but the the actual hospital tests the PCR tests and yeah and also they told me that the symptoms were very classic norovirus but what they did tell me is that a lot of people who are contracting COVID unfortunately a couple weeks after and this is where my paranoia came from they're they're getting um like a, a stomach thing but i had no symptoms of like covid prior or anything like that so they said that you know when the numbers of norovirus are higher because people are getting it um but it's it spreads on surfaces so it's like easy to catch it's not so much as airborne as um, I mean it can be airborne but it's very surface borne and so <sighs> and also I just think you know people are getting a little slack now that they're not wearing masks they're not washing their hands I'm seeing a lot of stores that are clearing out their sanitizers and their masks I think people are just getting a little too confident too quickly and also my doctor told me today that you know it's her opinion that also people are um getting everything right now because you know your immune system's changed a bit because we've been in lockdown and all that sort of stuff so yeah <sighs> I'm, I'm so over all of this I'm so tired of it all I just want to be finished with it all but it's not over it's kind of difficult sometimes that like every time someone gets sick you have to worry what it is and it's not good so I did feel, I am feeling way better. I've been feeling better for like two days now, three days maybe. Well, two days. And um, my parents did still visit on the weekend for Mother's Day. We all took tests. It was like we were very um, adamant about testing and all that. We kept all the windows in the house open and doors. And we spent a lot of time outside other than, at, you know, meal time and in the evening. And yeah, so... 
everybody feels fine today and so that's good and I have been doing some other things in the house to kind of isolate myself away from other people a bit like um, using a separate washroom you know doing extra cleaning laundry washed bedding washed the floors and all the bathrooms like just you know just to be extra in those in those higher germ and higher traffic surfaces of the house I just did a lot of extra work to kind of clean it all up so that's why I have been busy also because my husband's done a lot of it as well but um so I wasn't sure I was going to get to make this video today and I don't know what the week holds we'll see <laughs> how much I will actually get done so I'm just going to make I want to make some tags out of these so I'm just using some um book page that's hanging out here on my desk um to just create like a bit of a solid base for them Sort of what I was thinking I wanted to do with this bag when I saw it is make tags. It would be very nice backgrounds, I think, for focal points. Okay. This one, I feel like that is crooked. Hmm, hold on. I'm not going to use that. I think I cut it crooked. I ripped it crooked. go okay but I did have a really nice Mother's Day and that was good um, got to hang out with my parents and got a very thoughtful gift from my husband and the kiddos and um, kind of hung out a bit. Oh, still too thick. Hmm. Where's my, oh, here it is. You know what? Instead of constantly dragging at my big trimmer, where's my little one? I always have this on my tabletop and I always forget that I have it. Like, I'm just, I always forget these things. And it's just so handy to have this little guy here. There we go. Okay. Still too wide. <laughs> oh my <goodness>. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can do one more and I think I need to just trim it a little because it's a bit long for the space I have left. Whoops. Hmm. That was a messy cut. Oh, that's why. My, um, this thing has popped out. There we go. All right. We're going to have to do that again. Let's just cut one from here. And it does. Okay. I have to have a Zoom call tonight. I'm not looking forward to it, but it's like business stuff that I need to do, house stuff. All the administration of life that I feel extremely apathetic about lately. I'm just, I don't know. I don't feel like doing anything like that right now. <laughs> I just want to play with animals and babies and, yeah, make art <laughs> and be outside. But... I decided a while ago I had to be a grown-up. I don't know what I was thinking, but, you know, these things catch up to you, right? So we got to get them done. Also, I had the, f well, it wasn't funny at the time. I now look at it as sort of funny, but also weird. So... 
I, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that one of my most common hobbies is going for long walks. And since the pandemic, I have been doing that in graveyards because I, um, I like that it's not really busy, essentially. And it's also fenced in so my, my toddler can't run out and, you know, be around cars and all that kind of stuff. So I was... My, because my parents were up, they said, you know, oh, well, you know, we should go take the kids out for a bit. It's beautiful outside. The weekend, the weather was gorgeous. So I said, sure. So we'll go for a walk in our local, you know, in the graveyard. We always walk in like almost every single day we walk there. We know the people who manage it. We we are fixtures. We're like, we're, we're almost residents there. <laughs> so everyone knows us. They know my kids. They know my dog, my little dog, Toasty. And so we're walking along when all of a sudden some mediocre man with two dogs in the back of his car rolls his window down and comes up to me and says, excuse me, do you know that there is a bylaw against dogs in the cemetery? And I said, um, like, I, I just, I froze for a moment because I was just feeling, you know what, I have just gotten over a norovirus. It's Mother's Day. I'm with my children and my parents. My dog is leashed. My dog actually doesn't even do his business anywhere but here at home. It's just, he's a very particular little dog. He will, like, you know, he'll do the minor pee-pee thing, but he, that's all. He doesn't do anything else except, like, at home or at places that, you know, we specifically stay for longer than a day. Um, it's just, it's his character it's how he is clearly I don't expect this guy to know that but I just thought you know what kind of person <laughs> do you have to be to decide that you know it is your responsibility to just like randomly pull over to a woman and her two small children um, you know and a little dog um, and a couple of <laughs> older people and say this with your own two dogs in the back of your car like why are you here and why are your dogs here <laughs> so i will admit i was a little bit uh spicy with him and i said um i'm not aware of any bylaw there certainly is no sign posted so i think you just need to move on like i i was just i was not my like i'm used to dealing with difficult people i can do that definitely i can do it when i'm paid to do it but you know, it was like, it's Mother's Day, we're in a cemetery, and this is what you feel you need to do. I just think I'm reaching a point with some certain types of people and their personalities where they think that they are like more important than the rest of us, that they, they behold some power over us. I've just had it with that attitude and I just kind of went off on him a little bit so then you know he he basically said nothing else to me or I don't know if he did because I walked too fast for to listen to his gums flapping and then my father was walking behind us and he didn't know what was going on he didn't hear what was said or what I said and he said he said sorry what and then I hear the guy repeat the same thing to him to my dad my dad said well it's like this the dog's not pooping on any headstones you have a good day <laughs> my dad just kind of you know he looks at the factual problem and like determines how to solve it so I was really annoyed by this I have to say and I kind of you know um vented a little bit for a little while about how people are ridiculous like I'm doing right now um because <laughs> I just would never ever <clears throat> feel the need to like represent myself like I was some kind of like police or something to someone else I just I just don't do that so um yeah so then I came home and I was like, you know, this is really annoying me. I actually am really dumbfounded by this because like, why would no one in three years have said anything to me? Why do I see other dogs here all the time? And like this particular graveyard is lined with houses that all own dogs. And we are friendly with many of the people there and they actually let us see their dogs. They bring their dogs out. The people who run the place see us all the time and they actually love our 
our dog and like you know so it was just kind of baffling and like I'm the kind of person who like I want to understand things factually like I, I'm really bothered when I'm left in some kind of like dark place not understanding <laughs> You know what what something is about so <clears throat> I ended up looking it up in the region and actually there is no bylaw not even a requirement for a dog leash um, although I would never you know I've never seen anyone with their dog off leash at the graveyard um, there's no bylaw it's no such thing in this region so he was totally lying and just being a self-important mediocre man in a car and now I'm just like you know what <laughs> I hope I never see you again because I will not have anything nice to say to you, friend. Uh, I don't know. Do you ever just find, like, <clears throat> that you can go through life being kind to people and, like, you do your best and you really, like, have good intentions for people? Because I can honestly say about myself, I am... I'm a highly sensitive person when it comes to other people's emotions. I try to think about all the perspectives possible before I form an opinion or react. I've done a lot of work on myself as a person to be that kind of person and I've really honestly done a lot more of it since having children and also since kind of falling victim to some kinds of personality types because I can be a little too nice um, and I don't realize when I'm being like I sometimes don't realize when I'm being used or manipulated it's just something i've experienced in my life i'm sure we all have um <clears throat> so now i have boundaries that i that i set and they don't always they're not always comfortable but i have to set them um and you know i i don't know i just think these days it's like there's a lot of things that i feel like most people don't have a lot of patience for things like devil's advocates and you know like the people who just decide that for no better reason than they're having a bad day they're going to disagree with something you know like either on social media or usually social media right or you know in a case like this where they're just going to try to like step in and like be really annoying about something you know and <clears throat> I don't know I'm finding myself a little less patient and I'm gonna probably need to find some strategies to represent you know myself the way that I want to in front of my kids and all of that my, my kids by this time had like my one well my son wasn't even there he was with my husband and they were like a little far away but my daughter was there but she was probably about 10 feet in front of me and so she didn't really know what had transpired um, until we were talking about it later and I explained to her you know what had been said and she was just like but you know we have him on a leash and he he wasn't doing anything bad and I said no I know that like but you know in some places there are rules like this but I'm just very frustrated because that actually isn't even true and so that man lied to me on top of you know inserting himself into my personal life and like I just find that so intrusive like ugh. But yeah, that was my Mother's Day drama. Um, it didn't last long. I mean, it probably sounds like it did, but I promise you it didn't. I, um, <clears throat> I ended up, afterward, my dad said, who wants ice cream? And then the kids were like, you know, they were the kids and they absolutely wanted ice cream. So we went and we had ice cream and we forgot all about it pretty much. And well, I clearly didn't forget about it, but... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I think we cannot be that guy in life, right? Yeah. But then, you know what? There's so many other people who really make up for it, I have to say. I, um, there's this other, this lovely older couple that we see there very often. <clears throat> and they are so nice to my kids. Every time they see them, they the man he's such a grandfatherly type and he he's probably a grandfather he um he pulls werther's originals out of his pocket every time he sees the kids and gives them to them and like it's the cutest thing ever it's also kind of like an inside joke my husband and i have about werther's originals being like you know the ultimate grandma purse candy that like you know when you've had a really bad day like <clears throat> grandmas will pull out a Werther's original and like give them to you the other candy is like 
these candies and I don't know if everyone knows about them or just me in Canada or possibly like certain parts of Europe. They're called humbugs and they're like a little striped hard candy that have like a minty, a, like a slight mintiness to them, but also like a slight kind of caramelly sweetness. I don't know if they're, is that whorehound candy or no? I can't remember, but yeah, it, they're these lovely little candies. And that was the other kind of like candy that I kind of consider the ultimate grandma's purse candy that when I'm older, I'm going to have my purse loaded with those candies so that I can give them to children. <laughs> <laughs> yep and then my dad um he a while ago my husband sort of was on a mission that he wanted to learn to build a smoker for smoking meat and cheese and those kind of things and so he did some research and you know found out all the things that he would need to do so and then like he you know said to my dad like hey you know do you want to do this project together and my dad, <clears throat> he has the brain of an engineer. He can literally, he's a mechanic and he, he has like a metal shop and a wood shop and there's, there's not a whole lot my dad can't do in terms of fixing things and building things. He, he does plumbing, he does electrical, he builds cabinetry, he, he can fix cars no matter what is wrong with them. He, he's built like machines. He, he built me, um, like a skein winder for my yarn business like the, like um out of like um a windshield washer motor and like this elaborate like circular racking system that he made that it's all electrified when you turn it on it like spins and you can you can make six skeins of yarn at a time from a cone um like he, he can just if you can dream it he can build it so that's kind of what went down like my husband had been sourcing parts for a while like you have to get like a food safe tank for like the food box part of it like the barbecue kind of part of it where you put the food and then you have to get another um like you can use an old gas tank um for the wood box where you put like the the wood and the charcoal that you're going to generate the um the smoke with and then you know you need to basically have racking and you need to build a chimney for the smoke to come out of and um you know handles and put wheels on the bottom and make it look like a barbecue you know or a, a smoker type barbecue um so he did all of it like he he built this thing completely like from the ground up himself he did all of it he he ordered these you know temperature gauges and um so he brought it up this weekend and we put some birch birch in it just to see it like working we're going to use it this week he's been he used it a couple of times he smoked an entire turkey and some ribs and he said they were amazing so my husband is pretty stoked to get into using it <clears throat> And then my husband got an electric piano at auction. And so my kids and my husband have been playing with that for the greater part of today. And that's been fun. Um, I got a bunch of work done, which is good. My boss is away on business next week. So I have to look after some things for him. very hard to cut plastic bag but I find if you just kind of run your scissors over the top of the paper it's a little easier <clears throat> then I had doctor's appointment follow-up today on my blood work that I got and everything is good so that's good news it's nice because my doctor is just back from maternity leave she was on maternity leave for the last year and a half and 
We had a really lovely replacement. She was an amazing doctor. I'm actually going to miss her. I wish I could keep them both, but <laughs> in uh, this area we have a doctor shortage, so all the doctors that you can get. I'm going a little crooked on this one here. Let's see. <clears throat> I think I may make that into two, or I may just shorten it a bit, actually. I'll just shorten it here. Maybe we can do something with that little square, too. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to take a little break and just back these. Um, take a quick phone call, which you won't have to worry about any of, because I'll be back in one second for you. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back from the phone call and all that stuff actually a huge relief that that's all done with. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, so now I got all of these glued and backed and now I just want to do like a little collage on most of them, I think. So I'm actually just going to try to mass make. Um, the other day I had a, like a kerfuffle of things happen in my studio here. Like I had sort of poorly stacked some books like or not books um some like well actually they are books but I use them as ephemera folders and I keep them on a little shelf behind my desk here and it's kind of a narrow shelf and some of the books are definitely a little too wide for it so it got all like it, it was not happy and it just all fell down and then a bunch of my little people fell out of their holder so I have all these little Tim Holtz people and this week I've been feeling like my basket of like um that's a, a die. Oh, all the dies are in here for some reason. That was probably part of the kerfuffle of things that fell. These all fell into here. I've got to put these aside. Um, so yeah, I, I have all these little people to use up and I have this basket of like my kind of scruffy things that I like to keep. So I'm thinking I want to do a little collage with the people and the scruffy things on all these tags and there'll be like a little collection of fun little tags. So that's the plan for these and hopefully I don't take forever to accomplish this or we're going to be here for a while. But hopefully if you're watching, um, you know, you've embraced the like make along with me way of life where you're just gonna relax on the couch and watch along and yeah, that would be good either way. So I think I'd like to use something like that. And these ones, obviously, I'll put the bigger ones on. I'm not really... I won't, I don't want to flag in here, really. So, you know what, I may just hide it behind here. See if I can hide this flag. I'm not really into patriotic things in my, in my work. So I think I'll just kind of maybe just cut it off. Just make her... There. That's better. I don't really want to hide her under there, but yeah, that's going to need more, but we're just going to kind of build up a little bit as we go here. And then this is another bigger one. And she's sitting. I think I'm going to need to get some, um, maybe some fussy cut animals or something too. So yeah, we'll see. I might have to take a little break to just find some more fodder for these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one's a little wonky here. That doesn't show up enough. Just using some book spine. I really love book spine and how it looks on collages. So we will do that with a few of these. It's a nice book spine. Put that on the big one. That's a great one. Okay, one there. One for here. And I need a little a little one. Have a bit of netting, that might be kind of fun too. To, we will add that with her. She can have a little cozy spot to sit there maybe. There we go. Alright, 
right, let's get this little basket of things out of the way. Unless I see anything else. Maybe some of this. That might be fun. Okay. Well, that clears that out a little bit. And that's what I was going for. It's just too much stuff in there. Okay. So now maybe we'll match some people up with these. Do I have any more particularly large ones? I do. These guys are a little big. Not huge, but bigger. So we'll maybe use them over here. This cutie pie, she can go on here. We have two girls here. They'd be good here. Let me do something different with the big one. This. Maybe this little guy. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll do something different with the big tag. And that leaves me with two of these. That's good. So I've used up a bunch of them. Um, let me look here in my stuff from Tuesday 10 and see if there's anything else that I could kind of make use of. These flowers could be... It's a really busy background, so we have to think about that too. Um... I don't think Tuesday 10 is going to help that much, except maybe these feathers. They could go well. Let's just tuck these in here because they just want to tip, tip, tip. Yeah, so some of these feathers could work. <clears throat> but they're all, I think, kind of mostly cut. Although that's okay because I can just sort of recreate them a little bit by doing this maybe although the challenge now that I'm looking at this is that like it's kind of hard well, unless I just tear around the top to keep the the little bits there intact so them on there maybe I was just talking to my real estate agent and broker and he's talking to me about we locked in our mortgage rate um, <laughs> a while ago to um, take advantage of the rate being a little lower because he is he always has his finger on things kind of he's trying to make sure he can do the best um, for his customers and oh my goodness like the rate we locked in it's it's basically double now what we locked it in. It's just crazy. I don't know how all this financial stuff is going to work, but I know that the central and like the U.S. bank even, I, I mean, I'm in Canada, but I know that a lot of the banks are raising all of these, you know, lending rates because they're trying to combat, you know, the inflation and all that. But I honestly think like they're going to cause a recession. Like, things have got to give like I don't know I don't know how people do it I really don't like I'm okay um we're okay you know we're not like super well off or anything but we're okay because we've been very careful with what we've um done in, in our our recent lives and we you know are always kind of paying attention to what we do and I just don't know how the people are like paying rent right now. Like I think you can't rent anything for like under $2,000 a month these days. And I just don't, I don't understand how people are supposed just supposed to sustain at that level. Like 
because if they were applying for a mortgage and they were paying that percentage of their income, there's no possibility that they would get approved. But like somehow it's okay to do that to renters. And I really think that that's a pretty stinky thing. I don't like it. I'm just looking for things to use. So just give me a moment. I'm going to come back with some more stuff. Okay, I'm back with a bunch of bags of fussy cut things and such. And I first want to see if I can find something fun to go on this uh, this big tag. The dragon is too big. I love this dragon and I can never find the right way to use it. I keep trying. Um, we have a little girl with an elephant. That's really cute. This is like a little window. I think I'll use that for that tag. Um, yeah, we'll just leave that there. And I'll just see if there's anything in here that I want to... These are all children's book cutouts, I think. <laughs> a zebra. I think it's a little big. I think most of this stuff is going to be a little random. So I probably won't bother using it. Just going to look for one more second here. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Okay. So not that. Um, I've got some stamps set aside. I want to use some stamps on this. I've got some florals and I've got some birds and fish. So maybe let's look at fish first. So let's see who would be fun with a fish. So this girl's already got lots of feathers, so I think, oh, I've got to get rid of the dragon. <laughs> He's like, no, use me. I've been sitting in your stash for too long. Okay. I could do something fun with this fish, maybe. Um, Okay, so we have this little girl, we have this girl here. I like the blue. I wonder if, what if we just kind of use the fish here? And, like I like the mandala background, but I also want to break it up a little bit so it's not so, so central to the, to the whole thing. So if we did that, we could stand her here. Those feathers maybe could go down here. Mm hmm. I can already tell this is going to take forever. <laughs> I may just do a little bit of this. I'm going to see what time it is right now. I'm making a mental note. And then if I find that I'm getting into a weird, like, this is taking way too long situation, then I will maybe, um, I definitely glue this on backwards. That's okay. Um, I will definitely like change up the way we're going to do things. I knew this bag was going to be drama. I knew it knew it but I really wanted to use it too um so what other than griping about grouchy people can I talk about here <laughs> I promise I have other things in life going on <laughs> um yeah so like I'm getting a bunch of stuff done that I've been feeling like has been sitting around for a long time and I'm feeling really good about that. Um, I'm working on a journal right now. I'm planning several others. I've been dyeing paper. I just made avocado dye this morning and I need to do some dyeing maybe tonight if I can. I need to get spinning because I lost several days while sick um, spinning my yarn army here for this show that I'm gonna have coming soon in June. And so, yeah, I've got to get cracking. I think I need to tone down the the going out as much as I do on walks and things. Maybe just for a couple of days so I can really crack down. Or I need to find more hours in the day. I would love to stay up late and work, but I can't because my children are like night owls if I don't go to bed. Like, we, we sort of have 
this weird sleeping situation going on right now just because my son has a little trouble. He's still a little babes and he 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 needs someone with him at bedtime and we're fine with that. We have a very gentle parenting kind of approach to life and I would not change that for the world because it's actually far more low stress and better on the kiddo than the other options. Okay, so I feel like that's a little bit toned down. I do have some other options to kind of add a little something to this. Let me take a little gilding wax to just around the fish a little bit here. I don't know if the gilding wax will be on the plastic bag. Let's see. I think it'll be fine. I'm just hoping it tones it down just a little, which I think it does. Yeah, it is. That's good. I just want to bring out like around the fish a little bit. And also the little girl. And just kind of bring them a little more central. And the eye is drawn to gold, so the eye will be drawn to that. There, yeah, that tones it down. Okay. That's kind of fun. And I'll, I'll probably add some words, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to set that one aside and move on. Because I'm going to get too chittery chattery if I don't. Um, <clears throat> I need a bird. A bird, bird, bird. Oh, I think I found the perfect bird. I think she'll fit. I love morning doves so much. And I think I want to use her. And this could be like the sun. I need something behind it though. Um, I need ink over here. Is my ink? Yes. Okay, so just gonna ink around here. Okay, allergies. All right, now let's set all this aside for a second and I need glue stick. It's parchment. Just trying to remember how. I think I had it sort of like this because I want it to kind of cradle under the sun. And I might just scrunch it up a little for the texture. It's kind of fun. There we go. Yeah, that's fun. Then I will add my little bird friend here. I know we're gonna lose some of the bird, but that's okay. Just get the middle down here. Put her about there. Excess off so it doesn't get everything all sticky. <clears throat> so I've decided I'm taking a break from doing a whole lot of traveling and stuff this week because I'm just tired. Also, the price of gas is just insanely through the roof. I can't believe it. It's like I think it was like a dollar ninety nine. It was two dollars basically yesterday and I'm sure they hiked it up because of Mother's Day because you know OPEC is evil so <laughs> it's just the way it is. 
and we have um, a crossover electric car so we don't have it as bad as some people but I do just think that things are just getting overall unattainable between the rising price of food and housing and I don't know okay put her in a little nest here just hanging out with this lovely little morning dove press her down. I'm going to be stitching around these so I'm not too concerned if like some of this isn't holding down. I'm probably going to add a few stitches in the nest as well. Just because there's a lot of texture on there. But I think it'll be fine. And then for this one I want to tone this down maybe with some ink. Just going to see how that looks on there. I don't think it's going to do much. Um, yeah, it probably won't because this is plasticky bag. But it does a little bit. A little bit it tones it down. I think it will all come together to be honest. And then when I put words on and that sort of thing, it's all just going to kind of come together. Okay, two down. Um I want a flower with them. Maybe even something that's a little more, yeah, a little more bold. Just purposely cover up a lot of this. used fabric tack on this but I think I'm just going to be putting stitching through it so it's not really going to matter I'm not going to bother getting my fabric tack I went to the library today to get new books to read with my daughter she's really starting to get into the first readers books and she's like learning learning to read it's a pretty fun thing to watch just happen in front of your eyes just kids picking up so many new things you'd wonder how we you know have such a complex language and we pass it on it's so neat just have to hold this for a minute there we go until that art glitter glue sticks here Hmm, this one doesn't want to stick with the fabric under it, but I think it's okay because when I stitch, I'm going to stitch around. Yeah, I'm going to just put that one aside. I think it's fine. Okay, now this little girl, so cute. Um, what do I want to put behind her? Maybe music. Because she's dancing. Oh, this is appropriate. There was an old witch. <laughs> That's not appropriate. All right. Some coffee dyed music would be nice. Sort of make like a cluster here. I may even add some acrylic spray to these at the end. I'm just gonna see how I finish this all up here. That and then I think we have like a small. A lot of these flowers are really big, but um, too big. There's a leaf. That's a cute leaf. Let's see. What else do we have? A little yellow flower. That could be cute. I was thinking blue, but I kind of like this. Like, it's kind of sweet. Yeah. But I got my mom for Mother's Day um, 
<clears throat> I gave her a nice big lavender plant that they can plant in the backyard. You know, it's nice to give a perennial because they come back every year and they attract the bees and the butterflies and they just smell so nice and you can, you know, make tea, you can make sachets. They like, they're kind of like a gift that keeps giving, you know, and I like that. I've stopped buying like flowers really, I think for people, like cut flowers or like annuals. I feel like it's nice to kind of give something that they could keep in the house for longer. I mean, I have nothing against, I love like cut flowers as well. I have nothing against cut flowers. Um, yeah. I just like the environmental kind of aspect of like kind of gifts that can do a little extra fun things, people's gardens and stuff. And she liked it. But we just keep it simple. Although my husband got me a nice thoughtful sort of set of gifts. So we often find ourselves that we have like some day trips and stuff that we want to do or some stuff we need to do. And then I don't have time because of work or whatever, but he, you know, I, I can work on the go at my job. So, um, <clears throat> he bought me a car laptop workstation kind of thing that holds my laptop and my phone and has a couple of mouse pads on either side. And then um, he bought me a power inverter to keep my laptop all powered up. And then two pairs of headphones for my children because they like to like watch, they, they have these little tablets that they watch movies or they, you know, play like educational games on when we're in the car. So that way I won't hear the noise of them playing, so it's kind of good. Um, scrubbing some scraps in my scrap bin behind me here. Thinking about adding a bit of this yellow back here. Like that. Still keep the feather. And then there's this little blue flower that might be cute. I like the color of this flower. Plunk it back there and that would all come together nice, I think. Yep. I think the white space there that I did not want to cut out in the middle. like my kids are finished having their bath because I hear thump thump thumping up there. After I make this video I'll probably go upstairs try to dye a little bit of paper probably start getting things ready for my daughter's school lesson for tomorrow and I have to get everything ready she's going on a hike with her little sparks troop tomorrow and they're very concerned about the safety of you know protecting from ticks so I need to find they want us to pre like pre spray their clothing with like a bit of bug spray so that I'm not really concerned I think it's extra caution where they're hiking it's not like deep woods or anything. It's actually a public park that has a little trail. But you know, the what I've noticed about the Girl Guides Association of like groups is that they're very uh, cautious and I like that. They're very safety oriented and that makes me feel comfortable. I'd rather have an abundance of safety around me than the other way around. Cause that's my babies and I have to make sure that they're safe and healthy. Okay. 
sure that came together. Perfect. We've got three to go. Yeah, I feel like that this alone is a whole video. <laughs> Gosh. We might just do Tuesday five, okay? Forgive me. I just really wanted to use this bag. I, I've been, it's been sitting in my stuff for a little while now, and I'm like, this needs to get used. It's too much stuff. That's a nice rainbow. Um, hmm. You know, I'm wondering if maybe I'm not going to decorate this one. I'm just going to leave this one plain. And I might say the same for this one too. And the reason is because it might be nice to just have a couple of these with the whole mandala showing. Like, yeah, let's just stop at that. Why am I like going and going and going? I don't need to do that. So let's move on. I think that that will make me feel better about Tuesday 10 in general, that I just kind of move on. Um, all right, let's put this away. Okay. And my fish. Oh, and I know I said I wanted to use postage stamps, but I don't think I left room, so that's okay. Okay, let's just move on. We're going to move to the next thing here. So, that was the hard part, I think. Now, let's do something with the this embroidery page. I already know what I want to do with it, actually. I want to make an envelope with it. I think it's really nice and I think I can get an envelope out of it here. Yep. Oops. I think the weather is supposed to really start getting nice now. I'm really excited. I just um, ordered this seed organizer and I'm waiting to arrive. Hopefully this week I get it and I'm going to go through my seeds that I have. I have like um, a little seed vault that I've put together and I want to organize what I want to plant this year and when and um, kind of get going. I'm kind of on the fence if I want to set up my greenhouse this year and start seedlings. I, I don't know. It kind of is hard to manage seedlings here because we can't put things in the ground until like May 24th. But I mean, I'm getting a little closer, so I probably could start them now and not feel really taxed about having to manage them too long. Last year, I had beautiful plants, but like I started my a lot of my seedlings a little too early and like the thing about seedlings is at least in my house I just don't have the ability to keep them indoors long and keep them healthy they just I don't know it's um a combination of an imbalance of light and um moisture not enough usually because I end up getting busy like I have I have greenhouses now and maybe it'll be a little easier than it's been in the past, but I have just kind of struggled a bit with having the time to manage these things, but I want to, to get better at it because then you don't have to buy as many pre, like, you know, someone else's plants. You can grow a lot more from seed. So I'm hoping to get going on that this week. Um, seed organizing. 
And then I need to continue on my path of studio reorganization because I think we're going to install a new water heater in the basement here in my, um, we have like a utility room. My basement is a finished basement, it's my studio. So we have a room that is dedicated to pottery with our pottery wheel and that kind of stuff. And then we have a large open space, I mean not huge, but relatively large open space that's the studio that I work and film in here. And, um, and there's a utility room and a washroom and a cold room and a little storage cubby. So I have a nice um, space. There, that's cute. I'm just going to set that in my little snippet kind of stuff that I add to things. You know, I might add something to this from... I was cutting it up today. And do you think I can find it right now? Um, probably not. Oh, is that it right there? Nope. Just give me one second. I'm just looking for a specific thing. Hmm. It should be relatively close by because I was just using it. But I put it in the Tuesday 10 bin, which is kind of like no man's land. And it should be up here. Hmm. Why aren't you visible thing? Okay. You know what, let's use one of these. These are printables from the paper Cameo, and I just want to put a label on here. And I have a page already that I was working on from the paper Cameo today. I mean, at the end of the day, I need to just use all this stuff up, so like, who cares if I'm cutting another page? It's a good thing, really. So maybe we will add this on the front. I need a glue page here. these feathers and I think it's a really cute piece of paper. I'm tempted to make a pocket but I'm also tempted to use one of these little kids again. <laughs> but then I'm just going right back to what I was doing which is collaging. Although you know what I'm gonna do a little something different with this one. Hold on. I just want to get um oops so I'm just reaching my word snippets, some of them. <laughs> forests of forests of chaos and fear. Fiddlesticks. <laughs> that would just be funny. Gather firewood. No. See what I can find. I've got some other stuff littering up my words, and it's these paper strips that I need to use up. My goodness. Inhabitants of the forest. Could these kids, these kids look too proper to be inhabitants of the forest, right? They're like little English boys or something. Who else do we have? Do we have some better looking troublemakers? <laughs> These kids look a little rough around the edges, but they're too small. <laughs> this boy is leaning on something. I would want to put a big toad beside him or something. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty. Going out into the world. It's from that day forth, going out into the world.
as if by magic. Hmm. Trees leaned over. This is tough today, goodness. All sorts of trinkets. Magnificent. Well, the stars were up and shining. Let's use that. Okay. Let's use that. And then let's just glue the boys down maybe. I'm gonna give them a little background though. Um, I've got this paper, hold on. I've got this silver paper, which I will glue them to. There we go. And then I've got a little bit of this silver gilding wax. I just got a new one of silver and I'm really happy I got silver. Because now I can do these little silver bits and bobs, not just gold and copper. Sorry for the blip, I had to um, change um, batteries. And I think what I'll do is just maybe cut the little corners off here and make like a little fun shape for that. Okay, we have, we still have like a lot left. I am really taking a long time today. We've got these two, which I think are self-explanatory. What I want to do, this, this. Um, yeah, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, you know what? I have an extra thing. I have an 11. I'm going to put 11 back. We're going to put the book cover back. <laughs> or actually, no. We're going to put the seed, maybe the seed packets back. No, the book cover. Okay, let's just keep going for a little bit longer. Um, I know this is a long one. It's always hard to tell though. Some people love long videos. Other people really don't like them. So I have no idea at this point. I will please some of you some of the time. <laughs> I wish I could please all of you all the time, but you know, I'm not a magician. Um, I need to remind myself of that as I take on this challenge. Also, these big pages are driving me cuckoo, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut them down to what I want to use because they keep falling, and things are just a little bit of a calamity when that's going on too. There, so we'll just trim that down to a smaller size. This is the creepiest child. I'm getting rid of it in the picture. I don't even necessarily know what I want to do with this, you know. Truly, it's not that. It's not in focus well. So guess what? 
a guy. <laughs> For Tuesday 10, you are going into the recycling. Enjoy. Now, this. Um, the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory what I want to do. I think I like the shapes of the pieces on their own. Um, now I just want to get this, all these words back in the word bin. And then think a little bit here about the seed packet um, digitals, the big seed packet digitals. Sorry for the cleanup time here. There we go. All right, let's bring them to a manageable size. So, get rid of all the white on the edges. up a little bit here just so things don't get a too much jam jammed up okay put this back in the glue bottle maybe there we go pencil out of the way ruler out of the way okay Whew, we're good again let's start by making a couple of cute journal cards with these now you know what I have I think is maybe I just have to grab it hold up What I want to do with these is make, um, I want to use paper bag. Okay, sorry about that. So what I want to do with these, um, at least these, yeah, these three, I want to back them with brown packaging paper and leave like a little bit of um, a row around, like a little bit of extra around them and then stitch around them. So I'm just going to tear the paper out and come back um, with it glued down. Okay, so we are done doing what I wanna do with these before I stitch them. Now, I think from this, I'm going to just plunk this back in the bin and I'm going to use this. And because this person has like a violet shirt on, I think what I want to do is just cut around her and I want to put her in front of these flowers. I will keep the dog maybe I don't know maybe not no nah, I'm not gonna keep the dog sorry dog and then yeah we'll just plunk that on here I'm gonna cut this little bit here away in her the little triangle of her elbow here Yeah, and then put that on here. So, let's use glue stick for this. This is such a long Tuesday 10. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's okay though. I hope you're making lots of stuff too. We're just making all sorts of stuff for fun journals, right? I'm so like feeling like I really want to work on just one of my kind of commonplace books that don't really have a specific theme. Okay, now we need to back it. But I can probably just do that on my own. So why don't I just back this? I'll come back and um I will have everything stitched around and I'll show you the final parade of everything. Okay, we are all stitched around. We finally made it. Okay, so let's look at what we've done. Journal card, when the stars were up and shining. We've got this cute little envelope. I stitched around it as well. I stitched around this, nice packing paper on the back. 
And then I stitched around all of these mandala tags. So we have a bunch of these cuties. And they turned out really sweet, I think. I think together they're very overwhelming, but on their own they're very sweet. And then some I just left because, you know, it's, it's nice. <laughs> There's another one. This one I, I just stitched around this, sort of like as a square in the image. There's the other one of those little fairy bitsy boos. And then the last journal card with these super funny people. I really love this book. So that is it for me for Tuesday 10. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pieces. So, whew, okay, that was a long one. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you finished some stuff too and that um, my blathering wasn't boring or too controversial or any of that stuff. Um, so thank you. I'm going to go wash my fingers and have a wonderful night. You can find all my stuff down below in the description box and we will talk again very soon. Bye.